Uh, just let me introduce myself. So my name is José Figueiredo. Uh, I'm a solution architect at Noesis. I have with me João Moreira. It's a senior developer uh, also at Noesis. Uh, so the plan for today, we will develop an application. Uh, while Moreira will be developing the application, I will explaining you uh, what he is currently doing. Um, basically, this application will be a mobile app uh, to track ourselves if you are sick or healthy. So, Moreira, do you mind to share the, your screen? Okay, so this is Service Studio. Uh, this is where we do the, the fun stuff. Let's first start creating a new application. Okay, we could create it from a basic, based on a template, but for now we will use, uh, we will start from scratch. Just let's set a, a name and then upload an icon, and then we'll create the application. We have several types of applications. Uh, we could go for um, a React application, a tablet application, or a mobile application. Um, additionally, we could go also for a traditional application where we can just create um, standard ASP.NET pages. But for now, uh, for this demonstration, let's use just um, a mobile application. So. First step, let's create an onboarding screen. Uh, instead of starting from scratch, in this case, we will use a, uh, an existing template. Uh, these are some accelerators that the platform has for you, uh, meaning that you don't need to start your code or your application from scratch. We can just use a template and then fine tune the content itself. So while Moreira is developing the, this screen, let me introduce you a little bit uh, in more detail, the service to tool. Uh, at the middle, as you can see, there is the screen editor. So this is where we can develop our own screens. Uh, and just by drag and dropping, uh, we can uh, set the, the page content. One cool feature, it's the what you see is what you get meaning that while we are developing, we can see the final result or at least have uh, the final layout of the screen. Uh, this is cool because it makes sure that the developer uh, has the right uh, configuration for the screen that he wants. On your left side, uh, we have a list of widgets, let's say buttons, uh, input boxes, links, and so on. You just need to drag and drop from the left to the middle. Uh, and then you can use those widgets on your page. On your right side, uh, switching a little bit, we can have the page tree where you can see all the pages that the application has, or in this case, the widget tree. Uh, this is cool where we have uh, complex screens uh, and to make sure that you put the widgets on the right place, you can use the widget tree uh, to position correctly all the widgets. So. Um, this, is, this, this was the onboarding screen. Next step, uh, let's create the login screen. Uh, for this demonstration, we won't use the standard uh, login process. Um, so when we created the application, the platform was able to create a standard flow for the authentication process. Uh, but for now, we will simplify a little bit. Uh, we will ignore the login process and we will ask just for an employee number to the, to the user and we will fetch from an API uh, the name of that employee. So let's use then the API. So we already have the API URL. Uh, as you can see, we just set the URL. Service Studio will be then generate all the code that we need to use that specific API, okay? This is another accelerator uh, to the developers. So let's fine tune a little bit the screen. Uh, let's delete a few things. So we don't need login and password. Uh, we just need to ask for the employee number and then change the login process. Uh, since we don't need to authenticate the user, uh, let's just um, ignore it. Next, next step, let's create the home screen. The home screen, uh, we will use again a template for that. Um, and then we will fine tune again the content. The home screen will be where we will set if we are sick or healthy. Uh, and additionally, we will be able to see the, our history. So. For now, let's remove the legacy code. We just need to redirect the user to the home screen. The home screen, we will use the swipe motion uh, to set if you are sick or healthy. So, uh, 
add one, one additional thing. Uh, so we need to store uh, the records of the user. For that, we use entities. An entity is just a table in the database. Uh, but uh, without, with entities, we can set the table content. So we set attributes, uh, the employee number, for example. We will store, as, again, the, as also the latitude and the longitude of the user and if the user is sick or, or not. One cool thing, it's as soon as you create your entity, the platform will be responsible to generate all the SQL uh, queries to create or edit the table in the database. This means that you don't need to know how to create SQL queries to create tables in the database. The platform will be responsible to do it for you. So uh, I do believe that you already have um, the required entities or entity and with its attributes. Uh, what we want to do is to list the records of the specific user. As you saw, the Moreira just had to drag and drop the entity to the screen and another accelerator, Service Studio, was able to understand uh, that just what we want to do is to list uh, all the records from that specific entity. Let's fine tune a little bit the query just to make sure that we only retrieve the data for the specific user. Uh, for that, we can filter uh, reg uh, regarding the um, the employee number, we store the, that specific employee number in a client variable, uh, use it on the login process. So let's set just the statement, the filter. So while uh, Murad is just finishing the, the screen content, um, just a few features, as you can see on your top middle uh, of the screen, there is a red button. This red button just is telling us that something is wrong in the code. So meaning that the, there are some errors that need to be fixed. So while uh, those errors are not fixed yet, we are unable to deploy this version of the application into the server. So two things, first need to fix the errors. You can see on your uh, left bottom side of the screen, there is also, um, a red button. Uh, this is the list uh, of errors uh, where we can just double click and Service Studio will jump you directly to the right locations to fix the error. Additionally, uh, there is uh, on your right bottom side um, of the screen, uh, the style editor, meaning that you can um, adjust the content screen um, while we are developing. So with the content, the, the style editor, you can set the styles for the screen or a specific widget without having to uh, write CSS uh, classes. This is another cool feature. Uh, this uh, avoids you to know exactly how CSS works. Um, it does, it's an accelerator. Finally, uh, on your bottom right corner, we have uh, four tabs, the processes, the interface, the login, and the data. So these are uh, regarding the full stack development that Alex told you. Uh, we start with the processes where we can set some BPT processes or timers for um, recurring uh, jobs that need to be executed frequently. You have the interface where you develop your screens or reusable uh, UI logic. You have then the logic itself where you can set uh, all the business logic, uh, integrations, APIs, and so on. And finally, you have the data tab where you can set all the um, tables, entities, and data structures it's a, or session variables. So um, Murad is just setting a little bit the, the logic to save the record. Um, for that, we will need to get the location of the user. Okay, This is the first action, the get current location. Uh, Instead of developing uh, that functionality, we can reuse uh, an existing component from the OutSystems Forge. The OutSystems Forge uh, is in the repository uh, where the OutSystems community uh, is de deploying some cool components that, that uh, everyone can reuse, meaning that we can go there, uh, download that specific comp component, and then just reuse it to our code. This was uh, what uh, Moreira did. So we just downloaded a few minutes ago the um, a GPS component to track the location of the specific user and we just need to reuse that component and get GPS coordinate, coordinates of the user. 
So I think that we all are already most there. Just a few things. Okay. We need to get the employee name. Uh, as you saw, just dragging and dropping, we are able to reuse a specific API. Just need to, don't need to deploy any code, just drag and drop, set the parameters, and then we have the final result. So since we want the employee name, let's store the employee name in a uh, screen variable and use that specific variable to be displayed on the screen. So while Fini Moreira, I believe, is almost finishing everything, all right, we just fixed uh, the final error. Uh, the red button is now green, meaning the, that there are no errors on the code and we can then deploy our uh, code to the server. So we click that green button. This is called the one click publish. Uh, and this button does several things. First one, it will deploy the code uh, to the alt systems repository. So we have a source code controller uh, that platform gives for you. It will then generate the C-sharp code, compile the code, and finally deploy the code to the front-end server. All this with just one click. So let's wait a little bit just to finish. Just have to deploy. This is the first time that the application is being deployed to the server. It takes a little bit more. Then let's try the application. For mobile applications, the platform has um, some kind of emulator um, where we can, well, there it looks like that we have some issues loading, the, probably some caching, sorry. So we, I was talking about the emulator. So this is an emulator that the platform gives for you where we can see your application uh, like it was in a real device. So let's then log in using a number. Uh, we can choose a number from one to 200. Uh, and then we'll swipe a little bit, just left to right, right to left, just to make sure that it's creating records. As you can see, the list, the list is being updated. Uh, that means this, this is working as expected. 